How did they know it was you? Because I had given them my book in the library here. I, I wrote a book recently okay. called The Federation of Palestinian and Hebrew Nations. Oh, okay, so... I have to write that down. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll give you my card. Okay. And uh, so they had my... Oh, there's two. Thank you. Oh, oh my name is on the other side. I'm a doctor of political science. Okay, where? Where, you, where you do come. you teach? Okay, okay. Well, they won't they let teach? me teach. Okay. I've been unemployed for 36 they, years. They won't let you teach. Mm. Yeah, because they don't want to be accused of anti-Semitism. Even though I'm not accused of anti-Semitism. Um. But they're afraid anyway. Yeah, yeah, they use it very freely. <laughs> <laughs> very freely. Yeah. Mr. not in our name. No genocide allowed in Gaza. Please don't talk to my children. I'm talking to you, ma'am. And I answered you already before. I don't. I didn't hear you before. <laughs> oh my God, you are so courageous. Like you're gonna make me cry. You're this really is what courageous. this is what the Jewish people do. This is typic, typically Jewish, you know, mm. in which you, you know get into people's faces and tell them that they're wrong you know like there's no hesitation there it's considered to be legitimate you know it's not impolite or anything like that it's, it's considered to be normal <laughs> I'm sure if they knew what's really happening hmm. they would be against it no my, my mom's neighbor she's Jewish yeah. and she told her oh no what's happening is just they put red paint on their face and they say they're dying so she's like you know yeah they say the statistics are wrong that they're just lies you know that is Hamas who made up the numbers of the, of the number of Palestinians who are dead. So, so and I said, you, well, mm. these are hospitals that give, you know, who else gives the numbers of dead? You know, it's the hospitals. Mm. And they give to both to Hamas, to the Ministry of Health, and to the United Nations. And both mm. consider it to be, you know, like, credible. But they, 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 but they won't even let me say that. And then, and then they keep on telling me, you know, like, one guy was just shouting at me, you know, the horrors, the atrocities of October the 7th. But... You know, the Israel military killed more Israelis than Hamas did. Uh, that's what I heard. I mean, like, I, I don't read every day about what's happening, but yeah. yeah. Oh my God. No, so it's, 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 uh, it's a big mess. It's horrible. There's a demonstration. I was like, actually, on my way to a demonstration. Yeah, I spoke to them when they came back. Oh, wait. Which demonstration? A hostage demonstration. Oh, you're talking about the Palestinian demonstration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Zionists had a demonstration down there for, oh. for releasing the hostages. Oh. So they come by here and I tell them, okay, let's, let's exchange our people for their people. All the hostages for all the hostages. Wow, that's going to be... And that. they say, what do you mean? You know, there's no Palestinian hostages. And I said, oh yes, there's 10,000. Mm -hmm. And they never knew this before. Mm -hmm. You know, and another 5,000 since October the 7th. And then they say they're all terrorists. And I said, oh, 563 only with blood on their hands. Mm -hmm. And, you know, com and, it, and if the Palestinians are being terrorists, then what is Israel being? <laughs> there's, oh there's like, what are you supposed, you know, like, how do you describe it? You know, double terrorist, <laughs> triple terrorist. <laughs> what kind of terrorists oh are they? You know, like. So, so how are you living if you're not allowed to work? If you're not allowed to teach? Oh, well, my father was a handyman. Free Palestine! <laughs> yeah, they sometimes they pass by. So sometimes they pass by and they say, and they shout, Am Yisrael Chai, which means long live Israel. But they don't know that Israel in that expression refers to the Jewish people, not to the state. And it's an expression that existed before the state. So I say to them, Am Yisrael Chai, Hamandinat Velo Yisrael, which means the state is not Israel. Because Israel is supposed to be the name of the Jewish people. And also the name of Jacob. So, they don't know this, you know, they're not taught this. No. They're only taught Zionist history in the Hebrew schools. So they've infiltrated everything. Oh yes, yeah. they've taken over, it's a dictatorship. And then they say that we have to obey whatever the Israel government uh, does and mm -hmm. says, you know, in a wartime. You cannot criticize during wartime. And then I tell, <laughs> yes, but it's not your government. You didn't have a vote, did you? We don't have a vote here. And they say, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, simple things like that, you know, are very necessary to, to be stated, you know, because they don't have any other uh, idea, you know, they've never heard 
these ideas before. You know, and they figure that it, since they've been living for so long, you know, and that they've never heard these things before, they cannot be true. Mm. You know, this simple-minded, you know, mentality. They don't want to know, I think. They don't want to know. They don't want to know you either. Have to be in denial, because if he knew what's happening, I'm sure we're all human beings. We all like feel for each other, you know. I'm, I'm sorry to say that's not the case. The Israelis, in, in large measure, have been indoctrinated to want a genocide of the Palestinian people. They want it. They want the war to continue. continue. They're brainwashed. Even if their own hostages are killed, you know, in friendly fire, so-called, mm. they don't care. It's incredible. I mean, there's a certain percentage who do. But it's, you know, pitiful there. How do you find the energy to do this all the time? I'm fasting, too, for Ramadan. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Because so I lived in Nablus, you know, okay. for, for many, for five months at a time, you know, over many years. Okay. Where I wrote my book on the Federation. Okay. So, you know, oh. you know, like, I know that they're fasting, mm. so I have to fast because it's like, you know. Yeah, it's like... Okay. Living there, you know, it's like uh, same people, you know, like, and they, ex and they, and they, really, you know, have no prejudice against me. You know, there's no anti-Semitism there, mm -hmm. and they call me Doctor Weisfeld, Doctor Abraham. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very respectful. You know, so you know, I feel very close to the the culture. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. Oh my! Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm going down to the demonstration downtown. There's yes. one every. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was going there, you know, from the very beginning. And then I realized, you know, my presence here means nothing. Mm -hmm. Only here can I have an effect. So Not in our name. No genocide allowed in Gaza, right? I'll say right. Maybe I'll see you next time. You're here every, every Sunday. Every Sunday, yeah. Okay. Uh, except for uh, after April 15th. I'll miss a couple of weeks, you know, because I have to get my knee replaced. Okay. And you're standing. Yeah, that's nothing compared to the pain I had before. I had scoli lumbar scoliosis oh for so long, and I was always in pain. And then I had two operations last year, and it was a success. Okay. And they put this titanium cage around my vertebra to keep it straight. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It worked. No pain? Like no pain now. Oh, good. So, you know, I like minor pain of a knee, you know, is nothing. I didn't even notice it before I had so much pain from my back. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's relative, right? <laughs> yeah. So what I would do for the pain is I would smoke up THC. Okay. And, and then I would helps. cut the pain out. Okay. Even in the hospital, you know, when they gave me morphine, I said, I don't need your morphine. <laughs> it's addictive morphine. They said, you have to go outside to smoke. I said, okay, I'll go outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing that we have a problem with. I mean, they, doctors give morphine with no yeah. problem. Oh, yeah. They, morphine, I mean, they create narcotics. Yeah. yeah. And then 4,000 Canadians die a year. It's horrible. Of opioids. Yeah. yeah, this is, you know, like standard, you know, standard conventional knowledge. Yeah. You know, and even the educated people, you know, can't break away from it. Yeah. It's, it's very difficult, you know, the, the society is very uh, still, you know, closed. Yeah. People haven't, you know, been able to uh, think in an innovative way here yet. Because they have a, you know, easy life. Yeah, it's yeah. true. And also, money talks at the end of the day, you know? Yeah. Like, why do we have an opioid crisis? It's because of Purdue and their, oh. um, their like, greed, you know? Yeah. So, anyways. I better go. Okay, thank I you very much for there. keeping me nice company. To meet you. Yes, wonderful. And, uh, I'll be here next week, okay. for sure. Sounds good. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye. Nice woman. Not in our name, no genocide allowed in Gaza.